Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I bought this champion hoodie and I'm rocking in it. After this video, I'm going to play some Call of Duty Ghosts, okay? Nice. Yay. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about why Windows 8 failed in the computing market. Now, you're probably wondering, what's Windows 8? Let's talk about it. It was a very controversial operating system at the time, and there are multiple reasons for it. It's because Windows 7 was just so popular and just much better, and most people hated Windows 8 at the time because it was just wrong in so many ways. But today we're going to talk about, we're going to go deep into the details because the failure is always in the details. Come on. Hire me, Stephen He. Hit me up. So, yeah. Let's... So, to talk about this, we're going to talk about Apple. Now, you're probably wondering, what does Apple have to do with all this? Well, let's go to 2013. Okay? Just three years prior to 2013, Apple released their dominating, dominating tablet called the iPad in the tablet market. And this actually made everything so su successful it was basically like the new computer everybody had it everybody used it everybody used it to do crap on it in fact i'm recording this on an ipad mini so yeah let's talk about it for a sec i gotta turn on the light let me turn on the light, the light real quick Okay, so let's talk about the tablets. Now, you probably, when you think about tablet, you don't immediately think of Android tablets. You know, those came after, a little bit after Windows 8, because it was so popular. So, let's go to iPad. That's probably what you think right now when I say tablet. That's what I'm thinking right now. In fact, that's what I'm recording it with right now. The microphone better be good, Apple. Better be splendid. So, yeah. Let's talk about it for a sec. Now, the iPad was much different than most computers because it had a touch screen and it ran the same iOS as to the iPhone and iPod touch. And it was much like a computer, just without the stylus, just jump off the keyboard and it's the iPad. So let's talk about why does this have to do anything with Windows 8? Well, Microsoft heard about this, and they were like, hmm, let's change our operating system a bit. So what did they do? They decided to make it more tablet-friendly for the tablet market. So, um, let's dive into the details. So basically what they did is they removed the start menu. Yep. Um, people who have never seen that before in a... Uh, oh, operating system because it was just so strange yet so kind of like it was kind of like a scam and a revolution at the same time i i don't really know <laughs> but let's talk about it now imagine you're using windows 8 on a desktop right you have to swipe up with a mouse, you have to hold down and drag the screen up just to log in, right? That just doesn't feel as essential as it is to an iPad or a Microsoft Surface Pro, right? So that's why they made the Microsoft Surface, because people were complaining that it just didn't feel as essential as to if they made a, la a tablet. That's why they made the Microsoft Surface. In fact, they still make these, and they're running Windows 11, which honestly... Pretty, pretty awesome because there's so much you can do to touch screens. You know, you can draw better. You don't have to drag your mouse all the way, all the freaking screen, you know. It's just, it's just downright better. You know, I, I just think uh, if they did this with every other tablet. Now, not every computer because some computers, they don't, they don't go well with touch screens, right? You know, Chromebooks, they're okay, but styluses are better. I think because it's just easier to draw and easier to do stuff and you know all that cool stuff and it's just easier so that's why they made the apple pencil <laughs> okay so let's talk about why people hated it it's because they removed the start menu and also 
it was more for a tablet more than a desktop. That's why people sticked to Windows 7. And if they wanted to use a Microsoft tablet, they would go to Windows 8. It was just a natural thing at the time. And, you know, people really hated Windows 8 because it was just so different. And, you know, people didn't get used to the changes as well. Same thing for Windows 10, okay? So, let's take the lock screen, for example. On your laptop, on your Windows 10 laptop slash desktop, you have to drag your mouse and and uh, drag it across the desktop up like this. And it just doesn't feel as essential as you would with your finger, which I think this is why Windows 10 is a great operating system for tablets as well, because they have bigger icons, so you can tap it very well, and it's just a great idea. I think I think Microsoft is actually going the right way. They're trying to convince people to get to the tablet, and they're trying to convince people to buy tablets from them, because the market was just so, so, so huge at the time, and people, people, People loved it, actually. They loved it on the tablet because it was just a, It looks great. It looks nice. The U, the U, oh my god. Why the frick does my microphone have to do that? Every single freaking time. God. So, yeah. Everybody liked the tablet mode of Windows 8. They thought it was better than the desktop mode. And I, I can see why they think that. So, the popular of Windows 7 kind of affected Windows 8 in a bit because... I mean, it's more for a desktop environment, and, you know, it's just better, and they introduced Cortana, which is better for their mobile environment. They're going the right direction, once again. So, should you get Windows 8 in 2021? I mean, 20... I'm not going to get used to saying that. So, are you going to get Windows 8 in 2022? If you do, just buy the Microsoft Surface. It's just easier to use. And you don't have to worry about really controversial tweets and stuff, of course. So, yeah, guys, I hope you learned uh, that, you know, sometimes good things can be, uh, bad things can be good in a certain way, you know? Like, like Windows Vista, Win Windows Vista is terrible, never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go play some Call of Duty Ghosts, okay? I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.